Welcome to your audience student and scholars here Dr. Ramjan Ali. Dear scholars, so far as we have discussed about uh, stabilization policy and we have decided that uh, uh, stabilization policy be conducted by rule or by discretion and we have also highlighted the time inconsistency of discretionary policy. Now in this video we are going to discuss a case study Alexander Hamilton versus time inconsistency time inconsistency time inconsistency has long been a problem associated with discretionary policy in fact it was one of the first problems that confronted alexander hamilton when president george washington appointed him the first u.s secretary of the treasury in 1789 Hamilton faced the question of how to deal with the debts that new nation had accumulated as it fought for its independence from Britain. When the revolutionary government incurred the debts, it promised to honor them when the war was over. But after the war, many Americans advocated defaulting on the debt because uh, repaying the creditors uh, would require taxation, which is always costly and unpopular. So Hamilton uh, opposed the time inconsistent policy of disclaiming and the debt he knew that the nation would likely need to borrow again sometime in the future in his first report on the public credit uh, which he presented to congress in 1790 he wrote if the maintenance of the public credit then be truly so important the next inquiry uh, which suggests itself is by what means uh, is it to be effected. The ready answer to which question is by good faith, uh, by a punctual performance of contracts, states like individuals uh, who observe their engagements are respected and trusted while the reverse is the fate of uh, uh, those who pursue uh, an opposite conduct. Thus, Hamilton proposed uh, that nation make uh, a commitment uh, to the policy rule of honoring its debts. The policy rule that Hamilton originally proposed uh, has continued uh, for more than two centuries. Today, unlike in Hamilton's time, uh, when Congress debates uh, spending priorities, no one seriously opposes defaulting uh, on the public debt as a way to reduce taxes. In the case of public debt, everyone uh, now agrees that the government should be committed to a fixed policy rule. So this is all about uh, the case study Hamilton versus uh, uh, time inconsistency. So see you with another video. Ciao.